Good morning, Roughnecks. How is everybody today? All right, today we're going to take a look at one of our favorite little morons from Jacksonville, Florida, Alana, J Town Press. And I absolutely love this because she completely gets owned and called out for her garbage. And here's my problem, as you'll see in the video, is if she is a journalist, like she is always claiming, why doesn't she admit she's a journalist when she's asked? She denies it. She denies being a frauditor when asked. So why is she lying? Is she so proud of what she's doing? If what she's doing is so right, and she's out here fighting for our constitutional rights, then why doesn't she admit that she's a journalist? You know, that just something I was thinking about. And she doesn't seem to grasp that if you want to be inside a government building, you have to by law, you have to comply with their policies, procedures, and rules. Because if you don't, you'll be told to leave. If you don't leave, you'll be arrested for trespassing. It's very simple. No predator has ever been arrested for recording. They haven't. I guarantee you. I want some, and if they have, I want to see that booking sheet. I want to see that arrest report or that charging document that says they were arrested for recording. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that I'll be waiting around for a while. Anyway, guys, here is Lana getting owned by security and the, the, head, the head administrative lady. Who, Lana, that lady is a smoke show. Take notes. Check out the mud wrap down the shirt. Hey, Donna. Good. Good. Now let's go to the little directory to pretend like we're there to actually conduct business. Feels a lot better here. I'm sorry. What's going on today? Nothing much. Yeah, just take a little tour. It's not a museum. That administrative order. I'm sorry. The cameras can't come in unless you have an administrative order. Administ yeah. You want to talk to the court administration? Sure. Yeah. I mean, what, what's uh? You mean so there's there, it's not a law? Is yeah. it is it a judge's you order? The auditors that kind of. I'm like, sorry. Are you no, no. I'm part of the free press. Free press. Yeah. yeah. So, so okay. wait. Let's watch that again. Sure. Yeah. I mean, what, what's uh? You mean so there's there, it's not a law? Is yeah. it is it a judge's you order? The auditors that kind of. I'm sorry. Are you no, no. I'm part of the free press. Free press. Yeah. He just asked her twice if she's an auditor. She says, no, I'm free press, which doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. But the thing she's going to raise hell about is that uh, she, the administrative order. She's going to go, well, is that a law? That's not a law, is it? it, it was that, that, but it wasn't written by a judge. Here's how that works, kids, is the, the administrator writes the order signs the order it goes to a judge for review to make sure that it's kosher that it's legal then it becomes public and it becomes applied and i know lana it's hard to hear with your head so far up your ass but if you would pay attention to things you would learn things so maybe if you listened more and talked less you could learn something yeah, yeah, so it's a little scoring for him. Yeah. I've seen video before. Oh, okay. All right. So what's um I mean if it's not a law and there's nothing to Yeah, know. no, we'll we'll get you we'll get you to the right department so you can talk to administration. So you have to have permission to record in public Basically, areas? Yeah, in this building. Do you have a copy of the administrative order? I do not have it. Uh so it's not a judge's order then. It is a it has to be cleared through a judge. But the, I mean that the administrative order judge, Right. But the administrative order is it a it's not a, it's not a uh, court order. Yes, it is. Law, right. I mean, Okay. Yeah, I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to figure out what. Yeah, because different words have different meanings. So. Yeah. Yes, they do. Like Lana is a moron. Well, actually, that only has one meaning. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Is that uh, one, one number, number, number name? So is that position? Is, is it one K? I'm not yeah, sure what that is. Oh, I see. So it's S is in Sierra, 9890, 1K, 111. Oh, I see. 111. Hi, how are you? Good, you? Great. Um, we're just curious to know if it's for court. 
if it's something for a court proceeding, then you would go through me to be able to go into the courtrooms. I'm not looking at the courtrooms. Okay. Just the public areas. No, no restricted access areas. No courtrooms. Okay. Literally just the public areas. Just okay. Here's how that works, boys and girls. Is Lana, pay close attention. You see that metal detector that she just walked through? You see that armed deputy? Do you see that x-ray machine? All right. Do you see the tubs on either side of that round resistant glass? There's another setup right there. That's called a serpentine. And the reason that is there is because beyond that point, the entire place is a secure restricted area. If it wasn't restricted, there wouldn't be a security checkpoint. Swing and a miss strike one, but keep it up, Lana. You're doing fantastic. Are you helping me right now? Of course. Okay, okay, so what's the purpose of your... Uh, I've already explained it to him. So I'm part of the free press, and I'm doing a story on, this, on, this, uh, on the building. Okay, yeah. so you're, you're going to have to contact the county administrator's uh, office. To what? I mean, what, what, what exactly because the is county it? is the one that gets permission to be I able to... I don't need permission to exercise rights. Yeah. The Constitution says that I have the right to come in here. Where does it say in the Constitution that you can go into a restricted area with your little potato cam because you're too lazy to go get a job? If you're going to film on the county property, you have to go through the county administrator's office to get permission to film. I don't need permission to film. Okay. I'm filming you right now. Okay. Is your, where's the, where's the uh, what do you say, administrative order? It's a county ordinance. Okay. Oh, county property. so it's not an administrative, it's a county it's ordinance. It's a county ordinance. Well, I've been filming on county property. So is that any county property? I believe so. Oh, wow. have to contact the okay. county attorney's office or the okay. county administrator. So you're going to refuse me access in a public, in a public area. I'm going to ask you to contact... She's going to refuse you access to a restricted area because you will not comply with the rules and procedures. The county administrator's office. Uh, I say yes or no. Are you going to refuse access to the public yes, areas? Yes, I'm going to ask you to contact uh, the county administrator. And what was you said? Holly what? Holly alumni. Alumni? Alumina. Alumina. Okay, thank you. Do you have a business card by chance? I don't. I didn't bring it. Do you have an email now. address? I do. Holly.alumina at keysports.net. And how do you spell your last name? E-L-O-M-I-N-A. Okay, I'll be okay. definitely email. All right. All right. Um, so you're going to refuse access? Yeah. Right. Yeah. And doesn't that, that sound silly that you have to have permission for constitution? No, not really. It doesn't sound silly that people like you who would intentionally create the illusion that you all, I don't know, could be what surveilling security to be looking for, I don't know, weaknesses so that you could break out a violent felon from court. Yeah, because nobody would ever do that. I mean, it's not like those those evil bastards overseas um, that like to clack off S vests. It's not like they've ever, you know, surveilled procedures, securities going up to a military, a U.S. military facility so that they could figure out how to better attack it or better yet. It's not like they've ever filmed an attack on U.S. personnel and assets. That's never happened, has it, Lana? Such a moron. Oh, right. I understand exactly oh, your rights, Don. Rights. So your job is to uphold those those rights. No, it's not. Not even close. That's what a constitutional lawyer does. His job is to uphold the law. Uphold the law. And the law says, along with the Supreme Court, that those in charge of that building can tell you to piss off and there's not a damn thing you would can do about it. You can attempt to sue them. You can even draft, you can even file a lawsuit against them. But the thing is the first judge's desk that comes across, it's going straight into the dismissed file. Ask Chile to Castro about that shit. No matter what they, what they say. Well, if you understood, you would let me throw. I can't believe it. I'm sorry. I have to do my job at the end of the day. The I, know where you're, I know where you're coming from. But you know what the beauty about the sheriff's department? Says to a public area. I told her we respect what she's doing. It's, it's her we job. obviously don't. If you were struck in my authority, you'd let me through. We do our job. Respect your what? It's, it's we her obviously don't. If you were struck in my authority, you'd let me through. If, if they respected her authority? What authority, Lana? What authority? Who are you? You're a nobody YouTube channel owner. That's it. You have absolutely as much authority over government property as I do. 
which is none. You are just well, your job is uphold my civil rights. Your civil rights? What civil rights says that you go traipsing around government property with a camera? You're not being denied your const any constitutional rights based off of your age, gender, gender identity, sexual preference, religious preference, political affiliation, skin color. It it's not happening. The Civil Rights Act of 1964 has absolutely nothing to do with your frauded or bullshit. Swing and a miss, strike two. That's your job. So you obviously don't respect it because you're not we letting me in the respect. You would respect everyone. Well, we have to obviously I think you're jumping to conclusions at this point. Well, he's not letting me through. So uh, he's he doesn't have to let you through. I mean, he's doing his job by not letting me through. That to me doesn't matter what he says, it's his actions that speak louder than his words. That's all I'm saying. And your words, you seem, in this is you, you seem to think that it's perfectly acceptable for everyday dumbasses to be able to carry loaded firearms on their persons on commercial passenger flights. Yeah, that would work out real well. Go, go ahead. I mean, I'll, I'll be quiet for a second if you want to. Could you please? Yeah. Thank you. Well, I mean, you're not going to talk. You, could you please be quiet for a moment? I, well, I thought you were going to speak. No, I've asked you to be quiet. Oh, well, I'm not. Well, if you thought he was going to speak, why did you keep running that sewer you call a mouth? I want to be quiet. All right, I, I, I want to express my freedom of speech. Well, how, what's your name, sir? Hang on. I just want his name. You don't want to come this way, right? right? Okay. And what's his name? We'll give it to you in a second. Okay. Yeah, I would love to. That way I can put a complaint in for the attitude, so. Why are you such a snitching bitch, Lana? We'll correct it, Jack. The official way. And what's your name, ma'am? Stephanie Williams. Williams? What's your badge ID number? That's 0424. All right, thank you. Thank you for being more professional than him. Oh, wow. Lana, you psychological genius, you. Oh. Oh, yeah. I'm not even sure why you're right here. I, I literally just told you what I was doing. <laughs> so I'm not sure why you guys are refusing me access to a publicly accessible areas of a building. <laughs> You've been told like five times you're not allowed to record in there. You're not going to stop recording, so they're not going to let you through the security checkpoint to a restricted area. I don't see how you don't understand this. I mean... Are you that stupid, Lana? Is the hair bleach rot in your brain? No. I mean, this isn't Nazi Germany. Nope, because if it was, you would have never, you'd never be heard from again, and this tape, this video would have never been seen. That's what a tyrant would do. I don't need permission to exercise rights. That's why I call You need permission to exercise restricted areas of government buildings. That's why your dumbass was arrested outside of that police department because you went and filmed restricted areas that you had no place in. Them rights. Can you ID, sir? What's that? Is she no. Oh. Can you identify? She's just here to make a documentary or whatever she's doing. She's, I guess, you're a journalist. Free press. Okay. But you're not a journalist. What, the Netflix free press? Why can't you answer the question, Lana? I mean, was, they're synonymous, so journalists. No, they're not synonymous. You're, you're, you're using free press as a trope. You're using that to try to get out of answering a yes or no of whether you're a journalist. And of course, the answer is no, no, you're not. Because among other things, a journalist has to subscribe to a, a qualified list of ethics. You think that journalism is a free-for-all. You think that free means free-for-all, that you just go do whatever you want. And that's not how that works. Journalists, just like any other professional job in the world, you have to subscribe to some form of ethics. It's not just whatever your dumbass YouTube subscribers, followers, supporters want you to do. But you're not going to do that because then you wouldn't, if you actually, because you actually file all your videos under entertainment, if you were to file them under journalism or news, you wouldn't get near the views that you get there because it wouldn't put you out in as many places because of the algorithm. Don't don't try to don't piss on my leg and tell me it's raining on it.
So whatever. I just asked you a question. I, I answered your question. No, you didn't. Can you, you didn't answer my question. I asked you to identify yourself, and you still haven't. Okay. Anyways, just stand by. We're checking if, the, if she's checking, and you're probably going to be able to fill in your little areas or whatever. My little areas. What's yeah. your name, sir? Okay. My name is Duffy Adam Carriego. Okay. Right, and I'm 9001. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll be just down here. Just so you're aware. I'm assuming you're a supervisor? No, he's actually the supervisor. Oh, with your lieutenant or? He's a, he's a deputy sheriff. Oh, deputy sheriff. Yeah, yeah. I'm just, just like you. Yeah. yeah. Oh, train him to be able to call. He didn't act like it. You're just hurt because you're a snowflake, Lana. Hey, it wasn't a lot better until I came in here. Well, did anybody make you go in there? So everybody else has been so welcoming and friendly. You're gonna be that was off. Awesome. <laughs> it's a joke. Yeah, I did it very well. Yeah. I don't know, I just it was a bad one. Yeah, no, 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 no. I mean there's uh, probably the cameras are good. Right. Well it's to me it's transparency. Yeah. But um Really? Then what's your name, Lana? Transparency and all. I was about to say, you probably, I don't, oddly enough, I don't see anything right here in, in plain view, but I'm yeah, sure there's, there. oh, okay, but the light, I couldn't see it with the light. Yeah. Right, but anyway, yeah, it's okay. it's, huh? I wish I had a body camera. Right, I do too, I do too. <laughs> I actually wish you guys didn't have the, the uh, A, I wish you had body cams, and right now we're trying to work to get where you guys can't turn them off, so like once you have an interaction. Oh, so you want them to have to, I don't know, make it public record something that, I don't know. You want videos of a child victim, a rape victim. You you want something said by them to have to be public record where your dumbass can you know FOIA them and then exploit their grief for your profit. I wish you'd go get. No, I'm not gonna say it. It's on, the whole it's on the whole time. There's no, there's no mute buttons. There's no off buttons, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So it's full transparency. Yeah, no cameras are good. Okay, fine. What is your name? I'm pretty sure it's not Lana. So what's your name? What was your rank in the military? What was your MOS in the military, Lana? You know, transparency. Okay. Right. Have cameras. If you have nothing to hide. So. Hypocrisy. Thy name be frauded her. That's the way I look at it. Yeah. Are you from Key West? I'm not interrogating you. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm kind of a mutt. I'm kind of from everywhere. Yeah. So a little, little, little bit of all over the country. Because so. your your biggest enemy is a bad cop. Am I right? Go ahead and clear security and then you can come on in. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. 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 Later. Yeah, a little bit. That's we'll the easy part. Break the camera. <laughs> no. <laughs> right. All right. Yeah, yeah. God bless. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. Here's how this is going to work, guys. Uh, Lana's going to get real butt hurt because she won't show it, but she'll bitch about it later at some point. But she's going to get to go into certain parts of there, but she's going to be escorted the whole time. A key? A key? I got a key, yes. What are those, like the judge's office and stuff like that? No, actually it's just the roof. A roof? Yeah. You got the, the air conditioner up there. Ah, I got you, yeah. It's not, uh... Let's see. I see. See the key? Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, okay, so even though you, you were told that you can't go up there, you hit that button anyway because... Why? Oh, there's a button. Let me push it. You're such a moron. Where are you from? I'm kind of a mutt. I'm kind of from everywhere. So I'm all over the country. Why can't you answer questions? Why are you so afraid of people finding out who you are? You mean you actively go to great lengths to prevent that? I don't know why. Maybe we'll just FOIA your request from the prison. Country. <laughs> all right. So, wherever the story takes me. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Have a beautiful day. Oh, yes. All right, we're gonna end it there, guys. Just because I can't listen to to that voice anymore, it drives me absolutely just batty. But seriously, if she's so about transparency, then why doesn't she own up that she's a frauditor? Why doesn't she own claim? You know, why does she say, "Oh, well, yes, I am a journalist." 
I, I don't understand. If she's so proud and so transparent in what she's doing, then why is she so ashamed or so afraid to admit what she's doing? I, I just, I don't get this and I never have. Anyway, guys, I'll catch y'all on the next one. It's Wrangler. I'm out of here. I love y'all. Have a good one.